Okay, so um, we're going to do three drills, passing over the legs, through the legs, and hopping over the body. Again, sometimes when we pass, and I get to here, and I go to cut cross, and ideally I wanted to get inside control, or get my head in his throat, okay? And because I'm not putting pressure on car, okay, I haven't really got that upper body pressure or upper body control that I want. And even if I get my knee through and I end up here, I've really got past the hips, but technically, I still have not got upper body control. So we're gonna look at ways of getting to this side of the body, okay? If I mistimed it, obviously if I didn't mistime it, I'd be looking to do this, which means I'm a bit keen pass, but the car's making frames, okay? So from here, his guard retention, when I get to here, would be to hip escape this way and put me back in the guard, okay? Which is not good when I've nearly passed, but I just haven't got upper body control. Same for um, over under pass. If I end up here, so we end up with this pass, which we looked at a few weeks ago, and when I walk this way, Car's making frames, okay, and I walk back. And let's just say shin circle, okay, and I swim inside. I'm in the same position, okay? I'm out of his hips, but I'm not up here, and he's making frames. Okay, so from here, car hip escapes. I want to use my hand to push his knee down, okay? I'm going to slide my shin across the outside of his knee, stay super tight to him, okay? From here, I'm gonna shin or windshield wiper my feet so my right doesn't move until my left replaces it. Okay, and then from here, because car is on the side, ideally, I'll be looking to take the back. I can talk about from here. Okay, switch positions, car. So when he passes, I make frames. Can you get your knee on it? Okay, so from there, he's at my hips. Again, ideally, I'm gonna be hip escaping and bringing my knee in to put him back on my guard. So car's gonna be pushing down. Now, if he steps over, just, just step over my leg. If he steps over my leg and doesn't do like a windshield wiper, see the way I'm on my right side, I'm gonna be turning on to my left side here, okay? I'm putting car in my half guard, okay? so. We want to be making sure that we windshield wipe with the feet. So, from here, he's going to push down this knee because think of your knee as a wall, a high wall. He doesn't want to be hopping over a high wall. He wants to be hopping over a low wall. So he's going to drive my knee down and smash them so together. When he slides his shin across, okay, see the way his foot is L-shaped, okay, at my knee, okay, and he's keeping his body low on me. So it's all his weights on my knee. From here then, as he releases this, okay, this other one replaces it, okay? And then from there, he can either move to my back or if I go flat on my back, he's got side control. Positions. So, he feels on, passing over the legs. From here, I push down, he slid across his turn. As my shin passes across, okay, I keep this foot L shaped, like so. I stay really low on core, okay. My weight isn't on, on his upper body because if, the, if I have no weight on his knees, lower body is kicking me off. So I want to make sure, okay, that my weight is on my knees. Kick off my car, okay. I don't actually lift this foot away and then do that. It's like a, a windshield wiper type movement that I'm going to be doing. As my right foot circles off, I replace it with my left. And ideally, I'll be tacking the back if he's on his back or if he puts his back flat on the mat, he's got side control. But for the sake of the drill, so we can get flow from here, of course, he's going to hit the steep this way. So I push down his knee, slide across. Push. Okay. 
Okay, so that's passing over the legs. Let's drill a five on five. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> 